So in this video we're going to extend our understanding of integration by parts a little to have a go at e to the x sine x. Now all the examples that we've had so far in using late have used either logarithms or algebra. What if there is no logarithms, uh, there are no logarithms, there is no algebra, and we just have uh, trigonometry and exponentials. Okay, so this is what that example would look like. Okay, so how do we go about it? Well, we should work through it in precisely the same way as we always have. So using late, it would say to use the trigonometry before the exponential. So the u will be sine x, the dv by dx will be e to the x. So du by dx will be cosine of x, and v will be e to the x. So we'd have u times v, so e to the x sine x, take away the integral of v du by dx, so e to the x cosine x dx. Okay, so I would have to use integration by parts again on the e to the x cosine x. So the u would be cosine of x. Uh, the dv by dx would be e to the x. So du by dx would be minus sine x, differentiating, and v would be e to the x. So I'd have, so let me just write down this again. So I've got e to the x sine x will be equal to e to the x sine x take away uh, the integral of, so e to the x cosine x, which is e to the x cosine x, take away the integral of v du by dx, so minus e to the x sine x dx. Now we've got a minus minus there, so that can become a plus. <clears throat> so if I multiply that minus sign through, I would now have this situation. Okay? Now, what you might then spot is, well, okay, you might be thinking, right, I've got to continue with integration by parts here. However, we don't need to go any further with integration by parts because there's a neat little trick here. Because I've got the integral of e to the x sine x here, I've got minus the integral of e to the x sine x here. So if I add the integral of e to the x sine x to both sides, I would be left with two lots of the integral of e to the x sine x dx to be equal to e to the x sine x minus e to the x cosine x. So then I could just divide through by 2. Now I really should put in a plus c constant of integration at this point, okay? But there is your answer. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's a trick, okay, it's a bit of a trick really, uh, that allows this to work, but it's really neat if you can see it, um, and really works well. If you had continued, and um, I remember doing this when I was uh, doing my maths degree, uh, I remember sitting there and continuing with this because I hadn't spotted the, uh, the trick. And what happens is that, well, you end up with this integrating to this, as we had, okay? Uh, and the e to the x sine x is cancel. And then you get this integral left over and then that integrates um, back and it cancels out that term as well. And you just get left with uh, like 1 equals 1 effectively. Right? So um, it really requires the trick to have any kind of end point.